Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. In this week's Parsha, Kiseitse, we learn the mitzvah of Shiluah HaKen, sending the mother bird away from her nest before taking her eggs or chicks. And that's why we will make an edible bird's nest. Here are the supplies and ingredients we will need. Aluminum foil, small candies or sprinkles, an egg-shaped mold, two plastic spoons, parchment paper, a baking sheet or other flat hard tray, two microwave safe bowls, one medium size, one small, chocolate chips, and pretzel sticks. Let's begin. You will need a total of one and a quarter cups of chocolate chips. Measure almost a full cup into a medium sized bowl and about a third of a cup into a small bowl. Microwave them both until the chocolate chips are fully melted, which should take about three minutes. If you do not have a microwave, you can melt them over the stove in two pots with the help of an adult. Once melted, set the chocolate aside. Next, place a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet, which actually won't be used for baking this time around. Cut a large piece of aluminum foil, scrunch it into a circular shape, and place it on the baking sheet. Next, mix about two cups of pretzel sticks into the larger bowl of melted chocolate. Crack some of them to create a variation of size. Imagine walking through the park with your family on a fine spring day. As you pass between two flowering cherry trees, your sister calls, Look up in the tree! There's a bird's nest! You look up to see the nest in one of the lower branches with a proud pigeon that looks like the mama bird hovering over her eggs. Spoon the pretzel and chocolate mixture over the aluminum foil ball. This stick-like structure is about to become our long-awaited edible nest. So try to cover over the foil as much as possible so that the nest will be one cohesive unit that won't fall apart. When you are done, place the baking sheet in the freezer for about 45 minutes or until fully hardened. Meanwhile, spread melted chocolate from the smaller bowl over each egg mold, making sure each egg shape in the mold is fully covered. Slide the egg mold into the freezer for approximately 45 minutes or until the chocolate is fully hardened. Carefully pop the chocolate out of the egg molds, fill half of them with a small amount of sprinkles or small candies. To complete each egg, line the top of each candy filled half with melted chocolate and cover with a second empty half. In our imaginary trip to the park, imagine now that your mother smiles and says, Did you know there's a mitzvah called Shaluah HaKen? If you wanted to take the bird's eggs, it would be a mitzvah to send away the mother bird first. Take the baking sheet from the freezer, place the chocolate nest on a plate, and carefully peel out the foil. Try to do so without breaking the nest, which is honestly a difficult task, as you can see by the fact that we did not manage to keep it whole. But that's okay, it can still be a great nest even if it's a little broken. After all, it doesn't have to house a real bird. Let's talk a bit more about this mitzvah. Interestingly, it is a chayk, a type of mitzvah that is beyond logic. The reason we do this mitzvah is purely because Hashem tells us to. At the same time, we can and should certainly find life lessons from mitzvahs like these. Next, lay the chocolate eggs inside. I think we've got to admit that this whole nest and egg thing looks pretty real. When it comes to this mitzvah of Shiluah HaKen, we can learn to be especially compassionate. If we are so careful with the feelings of even a mother bird, we send her away so she doesn't feel the loss of her eggs being taken, how much more so should we be careful with the feelings of our fellow humans? This mitzvah is so important that the Torah says that those who fulfill this mitzvah will be blessed with a long life. If you wish, crack open the eggs, but most importantly, make sure to say a bracha shahakal once you eat them. Enjoy! We hope to see you again next week, and please like and subscribe before you go.